Just take a look at this stunning view here as we're out here on Medve Taiga. We're climbing up to the top of this mountain here and we look down right upon this big bull bedded out there at about 290 yards. But then just behind, there's a couple of wild boar as well. All right, but what we're gonna do is go all the way down. Oh, that's a lynx. This is absolutely stunning. Look at this. Holy. I mean, honestly, the view is really good, but the fact that you can actually see stuff from here makes it even better. Because yeah, you could have an incredible view, but if there's no animals here, then who really cares, you know? I'd much rather be in a place where it's not that cool looking and uh, you see tons of animals versus a place that's stunning and you don't see anything. Cause I mean, after all, you're out here to hunt, right? So in this case here, we got this bull out here. And I think if we took one shot on him, I don't believe these wild boar would spook. At least, maybe not all of them. So let's try that. Let's try for a 280 yard shot on this bull with the 338 bolt action rifle. And that was a good hit. Looks like these boar are taking off. Our bull is going down. All right, so our bull should have been right over here somewhere. In fact, that looks to be the spot that he was at right here. Blood rate medium, so pretty good blood. And here's our bull down piled up right over here. He was a decent one. He was only a three, but he was a real decent three. 183, and we pulled off a beautiful 286 yard left lung shot. Well, there we go. We just got eyes on a brown bear. It's a female and ooh, that's actually a real nice level seven male brown bear. He's gold potential. In fact, I think that might be a guaranteed gold. Now he's sitting out there at about 180, which is not the greatest angle for this shot. So we might try and slide over a little bit more. And what I mean by saying it's not a good angle is the only thing we really have to hit from that angle there is the heart. And if we miss the heart, there's a good chance we might not get anything. We really need to get more broadside to potentially be able to get a double lung shot. That could potentially work right there, except we got a little too many trees in the way. All right, we'll try and get up here and see if maybe that works out for us. Well, he's gonna turn. He's gonna turn. There's the female. All right, well, looks like for some reason they decided to trot off and it just so happened that it had to be at the exact moment we tried to get closer to him. Whoa, 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 a nice bull. Well, he's not that big, but it is a bull. And I do believe we have the recurve bow. All right. Let's try for a shot here at about 80 yards out. Got to get him to slow down. Well, preferably not look at us would be amazing. That's a hit. That's a hit. I don't know how good. I don't really want to lose sight of the track from our brown bear, but. Uh oh, we're about to get attacked by a bunch of wolves. I hear I'm coming. There's one of them there. And there's another one there. Oh, that took care of that problem there. I don't think we're gonna have time to reload, so we're gonna have to... Oh! Yeah, that's right, run! And they're gone. Oh, that should be him, that should be him! Wait, 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 we're getting two warning calls. What the heck? What the heck? Oh my god, oh my god! What the heck is going on? This bear is trying to attack us. 
We tried to get a heart shot. I think we got him too high. No! Oh! We're alive! Barely! I'm talking if something even breathes on us wrong, we're going to be a goner. Oh my god. Look at our health. All right, so the mail called over there. I don't believe he would have spooked from that. There's no reason for him to, at least. I wonder if that third shot actually connected. Nope, just the first two. First shot literally went right through both lungs, intestine, and liver, and he just kept on coming. All right, so I believe our male brown bear should be bedded right up here. Oh, I thought that was him. And there he goes, right there. We just jumped him up. This is going to be our chance. It was almost perfect, but we got him a little bit too far back. But you know what? It is going to take him down. It is going to take him down. Oh, there's our brown bear laying right there. And it looks like we got another bear coming straight for us. Make that two! Oh, we're empty. We're actually not empty. We just had a misfire. Did we get that bear? No, we just went 0 for 2 on both of those brown bear. Well, here's our 7 and a 155 yard intestine shot. Just got him a little too far back, but a 25.44 a light brown brown bear. Very nice. All right, so I just realized that we just had both of those brown bear come full speed ahead right towards us. We took on an entire pack of wolves just prior to that as well. And now we have another call from some more wolves down over. Yeah, that's them right there. You can hear them. They are not too happy. They're calling right over there. Oh, there we go. But we're still barely at less than 10% health right now. And we're about to take on another pack of wolves. Oh, come on. Oh, that shot was money. Oh, he was... Ah, oh, I didn't realize he was that close. I thought he was like 250 plus. I mean, we probably got him right in the vertebrae. Oh, there they go, there they go, there they go. Oh, big bear, big bear, big bear. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh my God, I felt confident about that, but I couldn't even see it. Let's just be real. Holy! Holy! We're barely alive! Oh my god! Bust out they are! Well, it looks to me like it was a clean miss. Yeah, he ran right behind this big boulder. And that's how we weren't quite able to get a nice shot off. Which we should have been able to. Uh, but then again, there's no more tracks. We spotted him right there. I mean, I guess he could have went this way. Yeah, that's his track right there. Oh, if we had just five more seconds, we could have absolutely smoked him. But he got to that boulder way too quick and we didn't have a shot. The good news is it was a clean miss because there's no blood. Oh, is there a lot of wild boar down over there? And I mean a lot of them. There he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Oh, that's not him, that's not him, that's a female. He's gotta be in there somewhere. Cause we got fresh tracks right here. Oh, just jumped up a nice moose, that might be him. No shot, no shot. Oh, I don't know if that's him or not, but. It wasn't him. It wasn't him, but he's absolutely smoked, whatever that was. I think that was a female. I had a feeling it probably wasn't gonna be him. Come on, tell me that's him. Oh, it's not. Oh, 
Oh. Bunch of wild boar out in front. Woo! Took him on the walk as we were walking as well. And I think we doubled up. Well, now we for surely doubled up. Probably could have even tripled up. But again, we already lost the track from our bear. A level two boar and a level two boar. All right, well, I suppose we'll take the bonus, but not what we're after. All right, this should be our chance right here. We got a nice opening and the river is gonna come up very quickly. Right on the opposite side of that ridge. We got fresh tracks right here. Decent opening, but apparently he's further ahead than I thought. Jumped up a must deer there. But yeah, that's the river right there. So he's either gonna go down to the river right across that wide open, or he's gonna bust back and he's gonna be right next to us. Either way, we'll be ready. Oh, don't shift to the right. Don't do that. Oh, come on. He knows it. It's like he knows that if he gets to that river, he's going to be done for. So instead of going straight, he cuts hard right to avoid going all the way across that opening there to stay in this thick brush. Look at that. More wild boar. And again, if we jump him up, I'm not going to be able to resist the temptation. All right, let's check this ridge. Look at all those boar. A lot of wild boar. There's a good opening here, and he was headed down this way. Oh, right there he is. Perfect setup. Perfect setup. That's him. He's going through that opening. Ah, it's too thick. Too thick. Way too thick to take that shot. But we'll find another opening. It's okay. Oh. There's the female. And there's the male. One of those shots should be money, and we got him. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice shot. Whew. That was a lot of work and effort to get that bear down. But it was worth it. And what a perfect scenario. To have him come out here trotting right through this opening. Well, one really good shot and one amazing follow-up shot. But you know what? I'm actually really curious to see if that first shot really was the one that got the vital hit. Alright, so here's the opening that he cut across right here. No way. It was the first shot. The first shot was perfect. Right here. That was the follow-up. The first shot was one incredible trotting shot. I knew we held a pretty good lead on him, but I wasn't sure if it was enough. Well, it looks like it was absolutely money. All right, I am pumped. So let's go track him down and see how we did. Got some good blood here. A little bit of blood here, and our bears piled up right down here. All right, let's take a look at them. There we have it, a 206-yard trotting left lung shot with a 338 bolt action rifle. Oh, wow, that shot was absolutely money. What an incredible, incredible shot. Um, that was a 2.34 mile track job to get to this bear, just so you guys know. And we ended up waiting for him to come across that opening there. Held about a four foot lead on him and hit just absolutely beautifully. 24.62 gold brown bear. What a shot. You know, I'm actually kind of curious where that follow-up shot even hit. 
Oh. I'll tell you what, if we were one inch more forward, that would have been a skull shot and we wouldn't have gotten him. But if we were also two inches back, that probably would have been a nice follow up lung shot as well. Still, overall, that's a decent, really decent follow up shot. But that's gonna be it. We managed to stay alive with less than 5% health. Not that there's a percentage, but in reality, if you were to compare it to a percentage, that's probably about 5%. And we stayed alive the entire hunt. We took on two packs of wolves. We managed to dodge a couple of charging grizzlies. And then we ended up taking down a couple of wild boar as well. All to finish it off by taking down this huge level seven male brown bear at 206 yards on the run and pulled off a beautiful lung shot. So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm actually starting to feel a little bit better now. So thanks so much for the comments and you guys are awesome. We'll see you next time.